Hello, everybody. Welcome to the fifth week of Lent version of Monday Musings. I uh, hope and pray that everyone is doing well and preparing well for the mysteries of Holy Week. Uh, that schedule has been made public. It's on uh, the website as well as last Friday's email and this Friday's as well. Uh, attached to those, uh, there are uh, buttons for you to volunteer. We still do need some help for the liturgies of Holy Week. Um, and especially, I found out today, uh, we have no volunteers for the Saturday Vigil. Uh, so if we get no volunteers for the Saturday Vigil, unfortunately then that Saturday evening liturgy will have to remain live stream only. Uh, so if the Saturday Vigil is your Mass, uh, please do consider uh, considering volunteering for helping with uh, greeting, ushering, at that mass because if we don't again if we don't get volunteers we can't open that mass up to the public so uh, thank you for your consideration and your generosity in volunteering for that mass and again a thank you to all of our volunteers because without them uh, opening to the public would not be would not be possible so um, again so Saturdays especially uh, if that's your mass please do sign up and then for all of the liturgies of Holy Week. The link for the reservations for Easter Vigil and the 7 o'clock Easter Sunday morning Mass will be, <coughs> excuse me, will go live tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, at 10 a.m. So uh, you can, you can uh, seek your reservation for that, for those two liturgies in particular. Most of you, by no most of you by now know the sad news that uh, Joanne Flanagan, wife of our retired deacon John Flanagan, uh, died last Friday due to complications uh, of her cancer and also of a recent stroke. Uh, unfortunately, because of the size of the Flanagan family and the number of visiting deacons and their wives that we're expecting for this funeral, Unfortunately, this funeral will not be open to the public. Uh, we're still limited to 100 people, and of course, uh, Joanne and Deacon John's family take priority, as well as the Deacon community. However, it will be live streamed, and that link will be made public, uh, so watch for, watch for that, uh, so that you can uh, pray along with uh, Bishop Soto, who has graciously uh, volunteered to be the main celebrant uh, for that Mass. It uh, speaks to me of the great respect uh, that Bishop Soto has for uh, Joanne and uh, Deacon John that he would want to come to Benicia to celebrate uh, her funeral. And certainly I, as, as pastor, am very grateful for that concern of our bishop for uh, Deacon John and Joanne. And I appreciate your understanding because I know that we would uh, very quickly fill uh, the church. So uh, I'm sorry that it has to be this way, uh, but unfortunately, uh, it is it is going to have to be this way for uh, Joanne's funeral. I remember when she first entered hospice, she shared the story with me that the hospice intake person. Uh, asked her what her goals were in hospice and she said to live long enough to have a normal funeral uh, so she almost made it it's because it's going to be inside uh, but unfortunately with the limitations of a hundred and the physical distancing uh, it is going to be um, rather limited so please do continue to pray for the happy repose of Joanne's soul and for the comfort and the consolation of Deacon John uh, and their children. So again, look for the schedule for Holy Week because we're doing a quite a, a hybrid of in-person, in-church, outside, uh, live stream, uh, and communion. So to be sure that you're not disappointed, you may not get the liturgy that you want or hope to, but you will be able to attend uh, 
the liturgies for for the Triduum and Easter Sunday in particular. So do look at that look at that schedule. And one last encouragement: please do not wait until this Saturday uh, if you would like to go to confession. Uh, we have five days of confessions this week, uh, including Saturday, uh, and also three days next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So please take advantage of the abundant availability for confessions that we have here at St. Dominic's, and do not wait uh, until Saturday afternoon. Uh, we had quite a line uh, this Saturday. Father Gregory came over and helped me out. Uh, I'll do the same for him uh, this Saturday because we will expect a, a crowd. But please do take advantage of the weekday uh, confession times. That's Tuesday and Thursday evenings at 6.30 and also Wednesday and Friday morning at 9.30 to 10.30. And that again will continue next week. So uh, thanks very much for your attention. Hope everyone is well. Uh, God bless you and hope to see you soon. Uh, bye bye for now.